We continue our weekly IQP Reflections feature here on the WPI Athletics website and social media, and I am joined by baseball's Griffin St. Ange. Uh, Griffin, thanks for joining us. Hi, uh, I went to Albania, beat term of 2019, and my project title was The Impacts of Brewing Beer in Albania. So basically what we did, we went to different breweries in Albania and just saw like how they were uh, getting rid of their waste, their wastewater, like all of their, all of their uh, like he heavy waste, like stuff like that. Um, how did you end up selecting Albania? Uh, I, I talked to a couple past uh, baseball kids, uh, specifically uh, Tyler Weiss, and uh, and he it sounded like he had a lot of fun there, and so uh, that was the reason why I picked Albania. And Albania was also my first choice as well, and I got it. Oh, perfect. So how do you prepare for? for going to Albania, first for speaking a different, a totally different language and um, and just prepare for the IQP itself. Uh, so during uh, ID20, uh, ID2050, once a week uh, on top of ID2050, we also met with uh, someone that spoke Albanian that helped us out with our project. So we would, we, so we knew like the basic phrases, like just basic stuff language wise. Um, and then what else did you process through ID 2050 that prepared you to go away? Um, we, we talked to our, we had weekly meetings with our sponsor. So we completely understood what they were looking for. And then just preparing uh, like after ID 2050, like we, our group probably met a few times a week to like, just to like go over what we were working on, like go over like what we we're going to work in the future, stuff like that. So now is there a memory either getting off the plane or arriving at your residence or your first day of project work? Is there a, oh, wow, I'm here moment that, that you can recall? Yeah, specifically the first morning, the morning after we got there, we were like, we just, we came out of our apartment. And we we're like, let's go get breakfast. So we go to a cafe only to realize that they only sold coffee and tea and tea and stuff like espressos there. And we were, we were very confused and we didn't know how to speak their language like like well yet. Like we didn't understand like the, the subtle cues. So so we ended up just like sitting there and getting a coffee, like being hungry. We we're like, okay. But then we figured out we have to go to like we have to go to bakeries and stuff to get like breakfast stuff. So so it's a multi-stop, uh, it's a multi-stop experience. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh what was a typical day for you like on your uh, on your IQP? Uh usually we would we would uh, go out as a group and go to a go to a cafe and get a espressos or coffee if they had it. And then we would work, we would work a few hours and usually around noon, noon in the afternoon is when we would do all our meetings with uh, either like we'd go to breweries or we'd talk to different people that was related to our project. Perfect. Um, what, what's something that occurred during your IQP that maybe you didn't expect that you had to adjust with? Um, relating to Albania or like our project ourselves? Either one. You choose dealer's choice. Um, I'm gonna go with the weather. It rained so much during <laughs> like the last half of our IQP. Like it probably rained almost like every other day. So I, and, I definitely got used to using an umbrella there. For sure. And did you find out that was a rainy season, or was it just a particularly unusual rainy time for them? Uh, no, that's that's normal for them. <laughs> like during the winter, instead of snowing, it'll just rain the whole time for them. Um, I guess this is a two-part question. Uh, you must have a your your anything mentioning brewery is a great probably conversation starter about your IQP. Do you find out that that is a as great a conversation starter as it seems when when uh, people ask you what you did for your IQP? You find people are interested and that leads to a lot of questions. Yeah, for sure. It's it's fun to talk about like just obviously like talking about beer, like talking about like different breweries and stuff. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun trying a lot of different. Or going to going to a lot of different breweries, like seeing and like comparing them to how American breweries work, and uh, how yeah, like how American breweries manufacture their beer differently from Albania. It's different, but it was cool. And is Albania known for their beer, or is this a a a, a new market? Yeah, it, it's very new for them. Like they only started uh, brewing brewing beer like on a large scale in the 80s, 90s, because they were, they only got out of communism in the 90s. Yep. So, so like they only had like one major brewery before then because it was controlled by the government. So after they, 
they got rid of communism. A lot more breweries have been starting to open in the last couple of decades. Um, would you have prepared any different other than maybe more rain gear? Would you have prepared any different? <laughs> uh, yeah, that was funny. That was probably what I was going to say. So I, was, I would have probably packed an umbrella beforehand. Did you pack your baseball mitt and, uh, and a ball? Yeah, I did. I threw a couple of times because um, Marisa Gonzalez also was on my team. So, so we played catch. WPI um, softballs. I had Marissa pledge. Uh, you couldn't take a catcher with you. Uh, uh, Griffith, no. the pitcher, if we haven't already, if you haven't already figured, you would, you, you weren't able to convince one of the catchers to go. So you had to, you had no. to throw to a shortstop, huh? Yeah, yeah unfortunately. <laughs> um, so we get to the end, and good news with the grades. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we got good grades. We had a good time. We liked our advisor. It was fun. You want to shout out your uh, your group, uh, not only your group, but uh, you, your advisor. Uh, sure, yeah. My group was, like I mentioned, Marisa Gonzalez, uh, Katie Jessup, Sari Beermeister, and then, yeah. Perfect. And and your advisor? Advisor was uh, Hirsch. Perfect. Professor Hirsch. Perfect. And uh, uh, the million dollar question, will you go back to visit? I would love to, for sure. Definitely Perfect. after college, that'd be fun. Perfect. And you were able to see enough of the sites to... to to uh, to be interested in, but enough to go back and see some more, it sounds like. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's a pretty small country, but there's still a lot of uh, a lot of different areas that I would love to either revisit or go to go visit other places that I missed as well. Perfect. Well, listen, thank you for sharing your story and your IQP uh, reflection. And it sounds like you sounds like you got a bar room story to share for a very very long time. So thank you. Uh, we uh, we hope we get to see a pitch this spring um as uh as uh that would be fantastic get back to normal a little bit and uh again uh uh thank you for the great story yeah yeah thank you